Are you thinking about downsizing but struggling with the emotional detachment of your current home? In this video, we'll uncover the truth behind the downsizing myth. We'll also explore how to manage the hurdles that come along with it. Let's get started. Downsizing can be a practical decision, especially as you move towards your retirement years where the kids start leaving the nest. But it's not just about finding a smaller home. It's about letting go of a place filled with memories and emotion. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the realities of downsizing and tips on how to navigate the emotional changes that come with it. First, let's take a look at the practical side of downsizing. Moving to a smaller home definitely is gonna reduce the cost of your living expenses. With lower mortgage payments, property taxes, utility costs, and maintenance costs, downsizing can free up money for other priorities like travel, hobbies, or simply boosting your retirement savings. A smaller home is also easier to maintain. Less space means fewer rooms to clean and less clutter to manage. Now this one may be a little controversial, but also less space means less chance that maybe some of your kids are gonna move back in with you. All this can be particularly beneficial as you age and find physical tasks more challenging. Downsizing can help you simplify your life and focus on what truly matters. Additionally, downsizing can offer the opportunity to declutter and organize your belongings. It forces you to evaluate what you really need and what you cherish. Speaking for myself only, the process of purging can be 100% liberating, helping you to let go of items you no longer need or serve any purpose. All of this purging, decluttering, and organizing will make your new space more functional and enjoyable. Now, while the practical benefits are clear, the emotional side of downsizing is oftentimes more complex. Your home is more than just a place where you live. It's where you've created countless memories. Every room holds a story, from family gatherings to quiet moments. It's these emotional attachments that can make the idea of leaving your home incredibly difficult. One of the biggest challenges I see with my clients is the fear of losing memories. It's common to worry that moving will leave the past behind. However, it's important to know that memories are not tied to physical spaces. They live within you and are carried wherever you go. To help ease this transition, try focusing on the positive aspects of downsides. Think about new memories you'll create in your new home, whether it's hosting grandchildren, starting a new hobby, or simply enjoying a more manageable space, your future holds endless possibilities. If you've been thinking about downsizing yourself, but you just simply want some advice from a top agent in your area, and you don't know who to call, I have a vast network of top agents throughout the country who'd be happy to give you advice about your individual property and in your area. If you would be interested in a referral, and of course this comes with no strings attached whatsoever, simply click on the link below in the description box that says referral. I will give you a call and we can have a quick conversation. From there, I'll go ahead and connect you with one of the top agents in your area. Once again, no strings attached, so if you're interested, go ahead and fill out that form. Next, let's talk about that dreaded decluttering process. Sorting through years of accumulated belongings can feel overwhelming. Start simply by tackling one room or one area at a time. This makes the whole process much more manageable and less stressful. And when it comes to this whole decluttering process, this one really hits home with me because in our age, in our 50s and our 60s, I like to say we are that sandwich generation. Not only are we carrying around some of our own crap, and many of us have some of our kids' crap, as well as our parents' crap too. That's because we are that proverbial baloney in the middle of two pieces of bread. We are that sandwich generation. Now let me get off the pulpit and back on message. As you go through your items, ask yourself, does each one serve a purpose for you and does it bring you joy? If the answer is no, it's time to let it go. Consider donating items that are in good condition to charities or passing them along to family and friends. This way you know that they'll continue to be appreciated and used. Remember, it's okay to keep some sentimental items. Choose a few special pieces that hold the most meaning and find a special place in your new home for them. This allows you to honor your past while making space for your future. When selecting your new home, think about your current and future needs. Consider factors like location, accessibility, and amenities. For instance, if you have mobility issues, look for a home with minimal stairs and wide doorways. Proximity to family, friends, and healthcare facilities is also important. Visit potential homes to get a feel for the space. Imagine yourself living there and how would you arrange your belongings? This can help you determine if a particular home is the right fit for you. It's also a good idea to make a list of the must-haves 
the nice to haves to help guide you in your search. Take your time to find a home that feels right. Once again, a top realtor in your area can be an incredible resource and advocate in your journey. Downsizing is a significant change, and it's important to know that your new home will meet your needs and support your lifestyle. Now, managing the emotional impact of downsizing requires acknowledging and accepting your feelings. It's okay to feel sad, anxious, or even guilty about leaving your home. These emotions are a natural part of the process. Talking to family and friends can provide support and perspective. Share your feelings and let them help you with this transition. You might find that they have valuable insights or can offer practical assistance with the move. Now, with 100% transparency, this is definitely something that I would not do. However, I think it's a really great idea for many of you is to create maybe a memory book or digital archive of your old home. Take photos of each room and write down favorite memories. This can help you preserve the past while embracing your new beginning. Once you've made the move, focus on making your new home comfortable and familiar. Arrange your furniture and belongings in a way that reflects your personality and style. Incorporate some of your favorite pieces from your old home to create a sense of continuity. Take the time to explore your new community and meet your neighbors. Basically what I'm saying is get out of your comfort zone. Building new connections can make you feel more settled and at home. Participate in local events or join clubs that interest you. This can be a great way to meet like-minded friends while getting involved in your new surroundings. Personalize your space with photos, artwork, and decor that bring you joy. Creating a warm and inviting environment can help you feel more at ease and make your house truly feel like home. Hey guys, Downsizing is a big step that comes with practical and emotional challenges. By focusing on the benefits, acknowledging your feelings, and taking the time to find the right new home, I know that you can navigate this transition successfully. So there you have it, my thoughts on downsizing. Is downsizing for you or is downsizing not for you? I would love to hear your thoughts. As always, if you live in Montgomery County, Maryland, or the greater DC area, and you're either thinking about or just simply have questions about downsizing, and you'd like to speak with me one-on-one, -on -one, click the link right down there in the description and book an appointment through my Calendly link. We can take 15, 20 minutes and discuss whatever it is you'd like to discuss. Hey, thanks once again for checking out my video. I'll see you next week.